Hello, Alice. Checking for cars. Good morning. We are at Venetia Marina. I feel very minimalist today because the engine's not running. <laughs> so we picked up the keys yesterday for our new boat, you at two. <laughs> it um, never gets old. <laughs> and it was a really overwhelming day. It was exhausting. Um, we got back here quite late. We had dinner at 10, which was just a chicken soup. Yeah. And not that you need to know that. <laughs> and so we're taking things a little bit easy today, yeah. even though there's so much left to do. Yeah. So we have to basically get ready for the movers who'll be here to tomorrow at 9.30. <laughs> um, at the moment, we're just taking a breath of fresh air and letting the cats have an explore because they were locked up all day yesterday and most of the morning today and they've gone a bit crazy. And we don't want to leave them out here by themselves because we've very kindly been moored next to the car park so that we can load our things tomorrow but it also means that we're right next to the car park and they're very car savvy cats. Um, however cars aren't meant to look out for cats so that's our job. Yeah. So we're kind of out here with them as well to get them have a little run around and also so we can do our sits. And we're planning out our plan of attack for the insides. Yes. Yeah. We are really, I, okay, I won't, I won't talk for you, but I really liking Venetian Marina. People are really friendly. Yeah. Okay. I can't tell, I can't talk about the selling process at this point because obviously we haven't been through it. Um, but the moras are really friendly. It's really nice here. It's really clean. It's really quiet. Yeah, really quiet. So that's what we can say about it so far. We're not endorsed by Venetian in any way. We didn't, we've, we've actually avoided talking about brokerages and where we bought our boat and where we've sold our boat and things like that. Who am I kidding? I have moved with this too many times. Oh, herbs everywhere. I can smell them. <laughs> Less herbs to move then. Don't even look at the best before they. Never went down. The problem with the boat is it always looks like this no matter what day it is. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. It is moving day and I decided to stealthily sneak the C A oh, yeah, that's right. boxes yeah. into the car. But however the cats were outside, they saw them <laughs> and, they and ran, ran off. <laughs> so yeah. I think Munchy ran under the bed. I don't know where Alice has gone. Oops. So we have to get them into the cat beds. Probably the removalists are coming at 9.30. We probably try to get them into the cat beds at 9. We don't want them to be here for any of the crazy. I mean, yeah, we don't want them to see the truck. Not because they'll be yeah. scared, but because we don't want them to get hit. Okay. Um, so today, organising the packing. Um... This is the thing, if you have a composting toilet and you have to move boats, you've got to clean your composting toilet. So I'm going to do that this morning. Uh, it's Kath's job, but she's hurt her back. Yes. <laughs> it's, it's the little victories. And, um, and then get into the van, get to the marina, unpack. Easy. And then we'll check back in with you.
Got it. Using it. Yeah. Or it it's, uh, um, yeah. Well, that's the very lovely removalists on their way to the new boat, which means we need to hightail it as well because I have the fob for the car park. But they were lovely. We thoroughly recommend them at this point. Um, really lovely couple and their son. Just a quick chat to you while we're unpacking. Everything went really smoothly with the removalists. They were really lovely and we are pretty much in the new boat which we've decided to call the boat <laughs> what was that? like genuinely could be anything <laughs> it's a sofa um we've had a few snagging issues um we have to go back to the boat formerly known as you tomorrow Ewart. to clean and we are really just gonna set ourselves a few days to unpack here so Thank you so much for joining us on this narrowboat experience and on the journey that has been moving to a new boat. We are desperate to show you the boat, but it is in no fit state <laughs> to show you. We absolutely love it here at Mercia Marina though. It's just beautiful. There are cygnets and goslings and um, it's really lovely and the um, people who work here seem really friendly as well. The cats have settled in. Well. We aren't letting them outside uh, yet. We don't have a cat flap, first of all, and secondly, we're not 100% sure that they would know what the boat looked like. No, so they need to spend a good amount of time on the boat before we let them out. I know it's two weeks in a house. I don't oh. know we'll go two weeks because they will drive us crazy and drive each other crazy yeah but, but we we'll really yeah we need them to know what the boat looks like yeah, and need, smells like they're still in panic mode at the moment yeah and they so it'll be a couple of days of being in inside yeah and also because we're on a pontoon at Mercia Marina they have to walk all the way off the pontoon the series of pontoons to get to kind of shrubbery anyway so it's not they they it would take them a while to get comfortable. Yeah, they don't enjoy it anyway, but we know that you would have those kinds of questions. Um, you can see, hopefully, by the little glimpses of the boat that I've given you, why we bought her. And even in this chaotic mess, I absolutely love her. And we think it's going to really, really work for us. I hope so. <laughs> What's Alice on? It's just a floating Alice Just head. a box. Can you show them floating Alice head? <laughs>